It's a pig sty. I don't give you the right to go through my things. You mean these things? I can't believe you did this. Are you smoking now? I asked you a question. Hey, Rachel! Are these your cigarettes? I bought that pack like a month ago on a dare. A dare? To see if I could pass for 18. And the condoms, what kind of a dare is that? They gave those out in health class. And you decided to keep them? Wait, you'd rather I not have them? You need to stop lying Why? To me. You don't believe me anyway. You search my room and go to my private thing. I was looking for drugs. You said you're picking up. Who's lying now? You're right. The truth is, I was searching your room because I don't know if I can trust you. Then fine. Believe whatever you want. I'm smoking, I'm on drugs, and I'm having sex. Lots of sex with lots of guys. I'm the school slut. You happy? You look like an angel. Walk like an angel. Talk like an angel. But I got mine. You're the devil in disguise. My dad's wife is freaking. What's wrong? You're supposed to be babysitting. I am. A little screaming. Oh, sorry. Did you feed her? I wasn't supposed to feed her until she woke up. Well, she's up now, isn't she? You want me to feed her now? Yes, I want you to feed her now. Listen, I want you to be responsible. I want you to think about something other than yourself. I said I was sorry. I didn't hear her crying. No, because you didn't care to listen. You were playing that crap and talking about rubbish to your friends. If you're so worried about Ella, then why don't you just stay home with her? Well, I made the mistake of thinking that you were reliable enough to do it. Well, forget it. I'm calling Lynn back. Hey, no, you don't. Elizabeth! Warm up that milk. No. Now. She's your kid. You're living in my house. Doesn't mean you can tell me what to do. Oh, yes, I bloody well can. You know what? You need to chill out. This is my house. You can't talk to me that way. Boy, my dad sure can pick him. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dina. Why aren't you in school? Mr. Bennett let us out early. Huh. Well, by us, I mean me, and by let out, I mean kicked out. <laughs> but it was early. <laughs> You're supposed to sign this. It wasn't my fault. He kept on saying relativity when he meant relativism. I just lost it. <laughs> Young lady, I am very disappointed in you. The rest of the week, there'll be no TV, no videos, no computers. Is that understood? Yes, Dad. <laughs> hey, I was just coming to get you. Hey, I thought I'd spare you the trouble. You didn't drive again, did you? Relax, Harm. I got the bus. I'm fine. So, uh, talk to your dad? He called. I thanked him for letting me be my guardian. Is that all you said? That's all there is to say. Can we not talk about this? Okay. Uh... Hey, listen, I was uh, thinking that uh, because, I mean, neither one of us has had any sense of real permanence in their life, and uh, an apartment is hardly permanent. I have a real estate agent looking at two-bedroom houses in Falls Church. I don't know, Harm. I've been living on farms most of my life. I thought maybe I'd be ready to live in the city for a while. I saw this in front of the building on my way up. There's an apartment available just down the hall. <laughs> Maddie, we didn't uh, just go through all this so that you and I could be neighbors. Uh, you need to... I need to have you here to look after me. Well, it... It wouldn't be forever, Harm. It'd just be until we found our dream home. You can't live alone, Maddie. Why not? You trust me, don't you, Harm? And uh, Mom says she'll buy the tickets. You just have to drive me to the airport. Well, slow down. No one wants you to leave. Elizabeth does? No. You just got to give her space for a few days, OK? Once everything's OK with Ella. No, she told me to leave. You talked to her? Upstairs. She wants me out of the house. 
caught her at a bad time, okay? I'll talk to her. No, it's okay, Dad, I understand. She's not my mother, and she cares about Ella, and I hurt her, baby. I don't, I don't want to cause you any more trouble. I should just go. You're not going anywhere, Rachel. Well, Mom says I should go home if Elizabeth doesn't want me here. Your mom's not here, and she doesn't... Ow! Oh. You okay? Oh, um... Listen, um... Just go home, and we'll figure this out tonight, okay? Dad? Rachel, please, now, now. Unfortunately, in modern society, ever since the theory of relativity, everyone thinks his or her own point of view is just as valid as anyone else's. That's relativism. <laughs> what was that, Miss Feynman? Nothing. See? Here's a perfect example. I'm trying to explain relativity, but Miss Feynman has her own point of view. <laughs> Why don't you share your point of view with the class, Miss Feynman? That's okay. I'm sure we're all very interested. No, really. Come on, Miss Feynman. What is your theory of relativity? <laughs> That's relativism, you idiot! <laughs> relativity is a theory that any two observers, any in the universe will discover the same laws of physics apply regardless of their relative motion and appearance. Relativism is a theory that there are no objective standards of evaluation. Two different things not related. In fact, nearly opposite. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Jody, what a nice surprise. I, I didn't hear you come in. Well, where are my manners? Come and sit down. And, and we can talk. How would that be? Jody, where did that blood come from? family? It was in their closet, in, in a box. How did you get here, sweetie? D did your parents bring you here? My mom went to the store to buy hamburgers for dinner. She said I should stay home and rest. What about your stepfather? Was Mark at home with you? came into my room and I was laying down. He said he was glad that I came home. He missed me. He looked at me that way. I knew it wouldn't be any different. Not for me. And not for my sister. Jody, what did you do? I shot him. I told you I could take care of myself. 